Hello and welcome to today's class. For today, we'll be discussing on an other problem on link mechanism. As the question goes below, in the figure, the crank AB rotates clockwise about A and the crank CD rotates at clockwise about C. As you can see, the figure had the right hand side of the screen. The crank are joined by the link BDF. Plot to a scale of 1 millimeter to 1 centimeter. The locus of point E and F for one revolution of AB. Um, AB and DC are 45 centimeter. BD is 120 centimeter. And um, BE and DF are 30 cm. So the dimension we need to note are as follows. We need to note that AB and um, DC is equal to 45 cm. Next up, we need to note that BD um, is 120 cm from the question. And finally, we need to note that BE and um, DF are 30 cm. So our first task here is to produce out the figure, as you can see at the right hand side of the screen. So my first task here is to produce out the figure. So my first task is to um, draw um, a line this way. All right. First task. I'll draw horizontal line this way, as you can see, right? Next up, I'll take my T-square in this manner to draw a vertical line upward this way. This point here is my center point, as you can see my arrow indicating, right? So, that point will be my center point. Now, next up, this center point is my O, oh, my point what? My point A. Right? Point A, as you can see. Next up, having gotten point A, we need to get point B. So we said A and B. A and B is what? 45 centimeter. So our measure of 45 centimeter with a meter rule from here down here is 45. Right? As you can see. So I'll place it at this point here. And draw a circle which I will take in, make it bold in this sense, this way. Right, let me show you. I have this. All right, um, this is my point A. Right now, observe closely that A, C is somewhere here, but A to C is given to be what the 120, as you can see, my arrow indicating. So from here, this is zero. So somewhere here is 120, which is point C, point C at this point. At that point C, I will draw a center line in this manner, a center line in this manner. Now observe that C also has D somewhere up here. And we say CD is what? 45. See the same di dimension. So what I used to draw these two, this one, I used to draw this one too. They are of the same dimension. I have this. I have this. Right? I have this. So my next tax now, listen please. Next tax now is that we have successfully gotten A and C. But A is connected to what B and C is connected to what to D. As you can see the figure. Now to get um, B and D. B for this point and D for this somewhere here. We need to divide the circle into 12. So I'll take it this way. Take it this way, one, this way. The same thing to this one, two. I'll take it this way. Our task is to divide the circle into 12 equal parts. So next up, take this one this way. I'll take it this way. 
I'll come down here, the same thing. I'll take this guy here, down here, this way. Next up, I will turn it, turn it this way, this way around. I will take this together. Right? Next up, I will take this together. Right? Uh, next tax, I'll use the bottom this way, this boot us on this together. And I'll also connect this part here too together. We are successfully um, um, we are successfully um, divide the circle into 12 equal parts without stress. Now, listen please. Our next tax here is to observe two things, please. This is point A. We need to get point B. Obviously, point B is at this point. Maybe my point B. Next up, we need to get D somewhere here. This is C. D is at this point. So here's my point over there. My point D. Now, my next task is to now join this point together this way. Right? So I'll join B and A together in a thick line because from the question it is sticking. Obviously, I will take in what the C and D together because it is sticking from the question in this manner. Finally, I will join D and B together such that I will extend it a little bit to get F. Observe, please. If I join B and D together in this manner, observe, in this manner of the thick line, there's an extension here, a little bit extension, which I have not taken. That extension is F. Not that DF. Check. Our DF was what? 30 centimeter. So I'll measure out 30 centimeter with the F of my meter rule. Yes, meter rule. So 30. So from here, from D to 30 is F, which I have this way. This is my F. So I'll take it down. So this is what? F. Right? Obviously, check line and um, BD. There is E somewhere here. And that BE. Observe, we said DF and BE are what? 30 centimeter. So the same thing. Measure 30 from this point. This is 0. So this point is 30 here too. I'll call this what the E. Point E. So um, we have successfully draw out um, what we are having at the right hand side of the screen um we just said that um crank a b observe please from the question we said crank a b rotates what the clockwise so it rotates what clockwise so this is the arrow that indicates what clockwise direction and we said b d rotates what the anti-clockwise manner in this manner so i'll use my arrow to indicate this to its magnitude and direction i have this direction this way this is what in a clockwise manner this is what anti-clockwise if is that if that is true in that case we'll be having that since it's moving clockwise so this is b you have what b1 i'll have in here b2 B3, B4, B5, B6, B7, sorry, B8, B9, B10, B11, and finally B12. Right? I have this. How after I'm done with this, your next tax to move to this point. This is D. Moving what? In a word, in a clockwise manner. So this is D. Here becomes what the D1. Here becomes D2, D3, D4, D5, D6, D7, um, D8, D9. Finally, D10 and um, D11. Right. I haven't done with this. What is my next tax? My next procedure here is to replicate what I just did for B, E, D, F to D1, A, B1, D1, B2, D2, B3, D3, simultaneously that way until I um, finish what I'm doing, right? 
so i'm moving in this manner observe i'm moving in this manner right see i'm moving in this manner right that the crank is moving moving in this manner right now listen i will take my meter rule right my meter rule i will join b1 with d1 together first is first i will join b1 and d1 together right this way with a faint line faint line now for b we have b and e we should have e for b here we have e so next up we need to have e here and e is 30 so from here to here is 30 this is my word e1 next up for this d we have d f so we need to get what the f1 so i'm going to 30 again i'm going to get 30 which is what will serve as my f1 proceeding to next one b2 and d2 this d2 and b2 extend it this way a little bit now we said b must have e so from here to here since here is b2 i'll be getting this is 30 right 30 so here we will order e2 next up let's get f2 this is 0 is 0 down here is 30 there's what the f2 f2 this point f2 f1 initial f this is initial e e1 e2 let's produce to get e3 e4 and simply f3 f4 so from this v3 connect v3 and d3 together so in that case i'll be having something of this nature right so uh, for b i need to get out e3 this is b3 get out e3 e3 is at this point here is 3 here will be e3 let's get d3 this is 0 3 is at this point right 3 is here so here we come with the f3 f2 f3 um e2 e3 let's get Let's join B4 and D4 together. I'll have this of this nature. Now for this measure, this is 0, 1, 2, 3. So here will be 3. That is what F A E3. Here will be E4. Yeah, E4. Next up, um, this for D4. This is 0, 1, 2, 3 at this point. Here will be what the F4. Finally, let's proceed. Let's move to a B5 and D5. Connecting B5 and D5 together in this pattern. I'll have this. Extend this down. Now, this is, um, let's say this is 0, 1, 2, 3. This is 30 at this point, which is for E4. It becomes what the E5. Fa Next up, I'll move to B5. D5 to get 30 at this point. From here to here is 30. Here we will say F. Here is what F5. Simultaneously, more let's move to B6 and D6. B6 and D6, this manner. Now measure 30 for this. This is 0. Let's say this is 0. 1, 2, 3. This is 30. Which is what E. This is E5. Here we what E6. Right? E6. Next up, this is D. Let's get F. This is F5. Let's get F6 by measuring what 30 on point D6. This is 30. Here becomes F5, F6. Um, next up, let's move to let's connect B7 and D7 together. Connecting D7 and B7 together in this manner. I'll have something of this nature. This, right? So this is zero. 1, 2, 3. This is 30. Which serves as what? As my, this is E6. E6. It becomes E7. Now, I've gotten E7. Let's get F7. This is F6. Let's get F7. So, from this point here, D7, I'll make 30, which is this point here, as my what day. This is F6, F7. Proceeding, let's, to, let's connect B8 and B9 and D9 together. I will have something of this nature connecting the two so this manner 
So this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 30. This is my EF. Here becomes what the E8. This point becomes E8. Right? Next up, let's get 30 here too to get F8. 30 at this point. Um, F8. Next up, let's connect B9 and D9 together. This is B9 and D9 together. And D9, B9 and D9 in this manner. Right? This is um, let's 0, 1, 2, 3. 30 at this point. This is um, um, this is E8. Then becomes E9. This point, E9. Next up, let's get 30 here. This is 0. So this point is 30, which is what? Um, F8. Here will be F9. Because we are to draw the locus of what the, we are to draw the locus of what the um, F and E, or E and F. Next up, let's move to um, B10. Let's connect B10 and D9, D10 together. Uh, so this is D10 and B10 together. I have this. So let's say this is um, 0, 1, 2, 3. At this point is my um, e, 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 E9. Here will be E10. Next up, let's get F10 by measuring 30. This is 0 at point D10. This is 0, 1, 2, 3. There will be one with F10. F10, right? Finally, let's connect B11 and um, D11 together to draw our locus. So this is 0, 1, 2, 3. This is 30. So I have my E11 as my final um, drawing there. E, you become F11 as my final F. So with the F of my French code, I will join this man together, right? Using my French curve, I will join these people together. So I have something of this nature. If I'm joining them, I'll start with this. Join maximum three at a go, right? Maximum three. If I join this with this, right? To go, I have this. Next up, join this in this manner, right, join this, join this, next up, I think I'll join this, join this, come, join this point, this way, I'll join this point here, this way, as you can see, alright, um, I'll join this finally, finally, so here's my locus of F, let's have the locus of E, for my E, I'll have to this nature, locus of E, Something of this nature, right? Locus of E, something of this nature, right? You can see what I'm doing. Take it one after the other, right? This way, so finally, we are firstly. Draw out the locus of um, point E and uh, point F. So if you have found this class helpful, do not forget to click on the social button and like. Thank you and welcome to WiseLink Academy. Thanks for watching.